This is a quick demonstration of automated transcription using Speechmatics server. The first step is to go to the Speechmatics site at speechmatics.com and sign up for a free account. Once you've signed up for your account, sign in here. Once you've signed into your account, you need to get your API key. So you'll find once you've signed in this box here, create API key. So you can go to that. You can generate a key right here. You give it a name, you enter it, and you need to remember that API key to load into Transana. We're going to come here. We're going to add an episode. We're going to select the demo video. And we're now going to add a transcript. call it Speechmatic Server to indicate where it's from. And you'll see that there is a box here called Automated Transcription Method. You select Speechmatic's server from that list. That's the only automated transcription function I have implemented at the minute, at the moment, but I plan to expand that list. And I now press OK. And that triggers my automated transcription tool. The first page gives you a confidentiality notice. It warns you not to send data to the server unless you have IRB approval, if your data requires that. So you can accept those terms. Transana then needs to perform audio extraction on the file because we're just sending the audio to the Speechmatic server, not the video, to speed things up. You now select the language that your media file is in. If it's in English, you have some options about whether you want Australian, British, or US English for the output. Uh, you can select standard or enhanced accuracy. Uh, enhanced accuracy takes longer and may cost more if you exceed your uh, free transcription level with Speechmatics. And then you enter your Speechmatics API key. You only need to do that the first time. Transana will remember it after that but you do need it that first time. Once that's all in place, you'll be able to press next and Transano will perform the automated transcription. It takes a few seconds for it to get started as it's making its connection to the server, but you can see now that there is a progress bar indicating that the automated transcription process is moving ahead and giving you an indication of about how long it will take. This is a fairly short file, so it doesn't take that long. And when we're finished, we get our automated transcription. You'll notice that there is a transcription key that indicates that different colors represent different levels of certainty in the transcription. If you go into edit mode, if there's a word that is correct, this. This is the core they started with, and they want it to look like that. So although the confidence was low on that, that word is correct, there's now a button to just change the formatting to black so that you can go through very quickly and reformat all of the text that's in red. So that's all there is to it.